Okay, good morning. We're going to work on grading an assessment in Dan or School City. So once you go into Clever, go ahead and click on School City. Log into School City. <clears throat> once you get into School City, it should pull up launch, your launch pad. When you go to the launch pad, you need to select assessments. And you're going to create an assessment this time. There are different types of assessments you can create. If you have a test already on hand, you can do an answer key if you want to. But we're going to choose uh, item bank. That way we can pull questions from the actual um, resource. I put a name for the test. I choose the subject. Down here is where you need to spend a little time. Instead of choosing the default, which is all students, you want to go to schedule students by course group or course. And I want to choose Algebra 2. So all students in any section of Algebra 2, except honors, will be able to access this. If I want honors, I can double click on that also. So all these students will be um, selected and the, the teachers for those uh, classes. Okay, I'm going to create another one. Okay. So now I need to go and change and select my standards. I scroll down, find my subject, find the actual standard. It's going to tell me how many of each standard I have um, questions for in the item bank. So I'm going to include, choose a couple of them. So I should have about 12 questions covering those two teaks. And it show, I'm sorry, 15 questions. And so I'm going to peruse through them and I'm going to select the teaks that I think will be most um, advantageous for my students. And I'm just going to choose two of them right now. Well, I lied, choose a third one. Okay, now um, it's going to tell me how many I selected here and which teaks there are and how many of each teaks I've selected. I, just, I didn't choose anything for that other one, so let me choose one more. There you go. And then I'm going to go to next. It shows me the sequence of events. I can go up here to rearrange the order and just move the, the questions wherever I want them to go. I can also add instructions, specific instructions right here. When I go to order items and add instructions. On online mock graph, it shows me what features and stuff I have available for the students. Um, so this is where you'll see your accommodations. So I have this where it's text to speech. Um, I can look and see what any of the custom speech pop-ups, scroll over resources. You have to go and add these things in, but I can go and check them here. <clears throat> and then I have these other options that are here. If I want to make multiple tests, I can click this and actually they'll ask me how many tests I want to take. Okay. Now I want to add a performance level. So I want to go to load from available templates. I want to reinvent the wheel. If it's a non-tested area, non-EOC area, choose probably ACP because it goes from um, ABC. And then I can just add that template. If it's a star, you scroll down and you'll see the, the algebra one or whatever content you have star. Um, and then I'm going to go, I check it, go to next. This is the important part right here. I default to all of these, but when it says online settings, I want to go and change some stuff. So I click on my settings. I scroll down. You can, if you want to have a time frame, you can change all that if you want. Go and read this part. You want to display a timer, which I think is a good idea, personally. Um, if you want to randomize the choices, you can do that. But what I want to do is I want kids to practice the star mode. So I'm going to check star mode. I'm going to add calculators, advanced calculator, and scientific calculator. And I'm going to scroll down a little bit further, and I'm going to add any kind of language selection things. So these are kind of my test taking skills. It defaults to these, but I may want to add a color contrast because I know they have that option on star. And I want to add maybe pop-ups. Um, and then just look at them and to see which features you want to add. If I want to add my um, formula chart I can or any other resources, I can actually click on that and upload it. And then um, and then this is, um, and then I, I come back and do a different video on the PRA, and then I'm done. I can just publish. Well, I'll just mention it here. So when I go to PRA, if you want to have a, a resources for students once they finish this, the class, uh, this test specific to this test, you can go and do PRA. You can assign different activities. So I'm gonna publish this. 
And once I publish it, I should be able to see it in my um, 